Okay, guys, I had ordered four, actually five different rice cookers and like water heater upper type things from AliExpress. But these three are in. I canceled one because it was, the uh, the seller messaged me is like, this is 220 volts, are you sure you want it? I'm like, yeah, but I asked for the US plug. And he's like, well, yeah, we'll have a US plug, but I'm asking if it's okay that it's 220. And I'm like, ugh, because there's different voltage and watts. Well, watts doesn't really matter, but it's the voltage thing that kind of threw me off. And it was like 35 bucks anyway. These are inexpensive, but so I went ahead and just canceled it because they understood. They're like, if you don't want it, just cancel it, you know. Um, so I guess it was nice of them to make sure it was something I wanted to get, but I was just, I'm sitting down here because they came in a few days ago and I haven't opened it, so I want to make sure when I go on AliExpress to say that they arrived and everything's fine. So this is kind of an unboxing, but this is an electric lunchbox and, oh, you know what? Um, some people already have videos on this. Of course, normally it's like seller videos, but if you look for the, no, wait, is it the Daboki? Ooh, the, and then D-A and then B-O-K-I, I think is what his channel name is. He's a really cute little dude that just does like a lot of baking or cooking videos, I guess. But his girlfriend had given him one of these, so he's been trying it out recently. So, really cute little box, or lunch box. And supposedly these things, what you can do is you can put your food in there, take it to work, and you plug it in. But, you know what I'm saying, if you're going to keep things cold, I don't know. Or at least set it up so that you can use it, but super cute. Cute box even comes in the way you're supposed to carry it. And then these two guys, there's two things in here. So I was kind of like, huh. I knew they were going to be small, but this is really small. So let's see what's in here. I know one of the things, I ordered three items from this seller and two are here. I think the third is shipped already, but it's kind of weird that they hadn't sent it. And like with AliExpress, like I've told you guys before, um, they do celebrate like the Chinese customs because they're obviously in China. And there are certain uh, yearly kind of like celebrations where they do not do you know they take vacation basically for like a week and i already got some messages from some of the sellers like oh we're gonna be gone you know oh this one's cool this is a pot that i was curious this is so tiny oh my gosh well because i expected it was gonna be bigger it's like a pot for boiling water and if this doesn't work out for me i'm gonna give it to my niece hopefully the plug is okay um for her to use in her dorm so oh this is so cute they had really cute ones but some of the really cute ones are like 220 volts and I already knew it just wasn't going to work out. So like this one's just blue. It's kind of boring. But how cute is this? Like it's hard to tell the size. And nobody ever has a freaking review on these things. So like whenever I buy something on AliExpress, I always make sure I take pictures and put it on there so other people can see what that looks like. Look how cute. There's my little lid. This one does not have a removable part even though it shows it in the picture there. Not in the picture of the seller because they're not, you know, I think they even said it doesn't have it. But you can buy another little piece that goes inside of there. That's kind of interesting. So it's basically like a soup pot. Like you can make your soup in here and then just eat it out of here too if you need to. So really cool. Does this look like a US plug to you guys? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to check on that. And... Ugh, seriously. So obviously can't use that. Then I'll have to check out the other one too. That's a bummer. And something like this, they're probably going to want it back. I don't even know how it would work that. But... Maybe they just give you your mind back. I don't know. Ruby. Yeah, Amanda. All right, so this one, I love you too. This is really cute. This one did, I saw it comes with its own little travel case, like a little bag. It comes with your chopsticks and a spoon. Um, more of a Korean setup. Super cute. Look, it has like a little elephant. Well, it looks like an elephant to me, but I don't know what that is. Super adorable little guy. Let's see what this plug looks like. Oh, okay, this one has a converter. So, that's awesome. Was there a converter over here? I don't think there was. Yeah, oh, there is. Okay, perfect. All right, cool. Well, then there's no complaint there. <laughs> so the third one I have to look at is that other one over there. So I'll probably try and use one of them today. I don't know. Well, I'll pick something to make. And then, um, oh, this one over here. That one's the cutest one. And um, we'll go from there. Oh. Um, it's been a couple days since I filmed that intro and the next one came in, the fourth one. So I'll probably just do a quick review of the little pot one because it's so cute and maybe I'll just do some noodles in there or something. That way you can see that you can make your noodles in there and eat out of it. And this one, I think, looks a lot like the, the other little cute pot beige one I showed you. I don't know. I'll have the store name because they did ship really fast. Um, it just didn't, you know, arrive that quickly because, well, the, the white and purple one did, the one that said electric lunchbox, that one came in really fast. Because I guess if you pay enough money for something, you know, AliExpress takes it seriously. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, 
sorry this is really tight shot let me see of course you can get the tripod in there but so right on top is the plug oh this is adorable okay so the ones from this brand that loader l-o-t-r are a little more fancy if you will yeah i'm wearing pajamas hold on let's back up <laughs> what is that bag oh it's the thing i just threw off the the thing here but anyway um cute little bag so this is supposedly so you can carry around the little pot that's inside and then it comes again with the spoon and the two steel um chopsticks and look how cute this little thing is oh my gosh it's adorable and so this one like i said it has like it looks like a little elephant on the side the little name loader and you can see on youtube there's lots of videos on this company's stuff so l-o-t-o-r i will review these separately like i said but real quick let me just show you what's inside because they are flipping adorable nice and tight lid has a plastic lid separating the um, top little metal rece uh, receptacle or whatever you want to call it from the bottom one. So this one's deeper and then there's going to be another more shallow one on top. And this is where you put your water in. So basically it's steaming, okay? It's not just cooking or like, um, it's not, a heat. well, it's not heat right directly on this. It's the water that steams and bubbles all around your food. So it's good for rewarming stuff and it's also good for just cooking stuff and it has a little um, vent there on the top. So you're supposed to be able to just put your stuff in here and carry the whole thing around like this if you wanted to, or just put the stuff in the inside in your little carrier. I'm not sure if the whole thing, but yeah, super cute. So, okay, let's get started. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's been over a year since I filmed the beginning of this video. <laughs> and uh, you know, my kitchen kind of fell apart. So with the water that came in the windows and basically it was out of commission, but that would have been a good time to use these little things. I just used a hot plate that I had um, to cook and we ate meals out most of the time. But I am here to finish the review. Uh, I don't even remember what I showed you guys, but I think I was gonna start off with this little pot. Um, what was good about this one is that, um, well, this is cute. And then it says it has the egg maker, which it did not. And then um, I think when you order on AliExpress, it'll tell you they're like, does not include it, even though they might show it there. Uh, just cause I guess they have generic photos and stuff. I'm gonna wash this. I'm gonna rinse out the inside of the little pot. But what was nice about this one is that it does come with an adapter for our um, electrical needs here in the US. But uh, the original one that comes with is with this one. And I don't even think this is, I'm not sure what kind of this is because my husband was in South Korea for a while and his doesn't even look like this. But let's put that adapter on and hope for the best, okay? So supposedly that'll switch us over to, it says 250 volt 10A, but anyway. Um, so I'm gonna rinse this out. It feels very, very light. <laughs> like this is, plastic clearly plastic um, and then it has the vents at the bottom there um, so it probably just has a little heating element just underneath this metal but I'm gonna rinse it out and then we're gonna make uh, these noodles because I'm just gonna do something quick and basic so lemonello naked ramen I get these at Daiso it's so good you guys it chicken curry soup just like it says but it has like a real lemon kind of citrusy flavor to it it's so good whenever I have leftover like um, chicken that curry chicken I just basically just a quick little recipe, just get some chicken breasts, uh, put a little oil on them, olive oil or whatever kind of oil, but just very little, and then just put a ton of curry powder on them and then put them in a baking dish. And I always cover it with um, parchment just so the parchment is touching the breasts, actually touching it, and then down into the pan, you know, it's like in, just on it like that. Cause it, what it does is it braises the chicken breast and just cook them, I think at 375, for 25 to 30 minutes, however long it takes for them to cook through. And they're nice and juicy and delicious and the curry flavor's all in there. It's really good. So just whenever I have some of that extra, I throw it in the noodles too. But let me rinse this out. Um, I'll get some water poured in here. We'll plug it in, turn it on and see how it does. Okay, there's about two cups of water in there. Uh, it says you want to boil them in two cups of boiling water. So I'm gonna, it's cold water. I want to see how long it takes from cold water to get us cooking. Let me turn this around. And now, of course, there's tons of videos on these things. I'm like, what a bummer, because I bought them a long time ago. It's just I wasn't able to review them. So I'm going to plug this in. Uh, let's see here. Okay. And let's turn it on, hopefully. Yep, the light is kind of, can you see that? The little light is on. So I'm going to put this lid on here. I'm going to keep an eye on the um, clock and see how long it takes for it to come to a boil. Oh, I turned off the lights and walked away because it's taking a while. It's been about four minutes and it's barely, you can see a little, getting a little haze here. So let me see. I don't know, this is, it's warming up. It's gonna take a while, it feels like. 
All right, I'm gonna leave it alone. Going on 10 minutes. There's some little heat going on there. I wonder if this is more of a steamer than it is a boiler, but it should boil. Interesting, I'll keep watching it. Okay, right about 15 minutes and look, there's some steam coming up and it's, it's getting hot. So let's see how long it takes. Probably about 20 minutes to boil, I have a feeling. You guys, it's been 32 minutes and I came in here and I can hear it bubbling. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. I guess that's boiling for this thing. Oh my gosh. So I have a thing called a stove and I could have boiled this in two minutes. <laughs> but anyway, I did want to try them out. So here we are. Uh, I'm going to remove the lid and put in the noodles. These are supposedly going to cook in three and a half minutes. We will see what happens. Just supposed to put the noodles in right now and then, yeah, three and a half minutes. And then you're supposed to put these seasoning packets in a bowl, add the noodles, well drain the noodles and then add a half a cup of boiling water back into it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to eat it in this bowl too, because why not? So what I'm going to do is let them cook drain most of the water then add in the seasonings and see what happens but I feel like I need to cover it because I'm usually I leave them uncovered right noodles it's not a big deal but this one looks like it needs to be covered to you know continue staying hot so I'm gonna leave that alone three and a half minutes I'll be okay. right back it's been about four minutes because I had I was in the other room I had to turn off the uh, timer but anyway um they're soft they did not look like they were boiling. These are basically just reconstituted because they're in hot water. Is what it seems like to me. <laughs> Let me see. Because basically if I was to eat one. It's edible. Okay, so like I guess I'm going to pour off a little bit of the water. I'll just pour it into a bowl since I would normally take it to the sink, but we're here. Sorry if my arm's in the way, but. So now it sounds like it's sizzling. Look at that. Ooh, maybe that was just a lot of water for it. Do you hear that? Can you even see in there? It's sizzling. So maybe two cups of water is too much. Now this has a lot going on. They have a lot of packets. <laughs> Let me this one I put it all in and this is probably the one that has well, obviously has oil and stuff oh, that smells good already I have a bunch of those um, super super spicy like a two times spicy ramen or like the carbo I forget the brand Semyon is it Semyon good stuff but those are too spicy for me. Those are for the kids. All right. Let me give it a little mix. So this isn't meant to be like a soupy ramen. It's a little bit dry. And it, you know, that depends on what you like anyway. Let's try these out. Ooh, it's a little hot. Obviously. Pretty good. Some are still a little crunchy, not crunchy, but just like a little more al dente than others. So what I would do is I would just turn this thing off, unplug it, and I would eat out of this bowl. <laughs> so, I mean, why not? All right. I think it's a bit of a fail. It just takes way too long. I mean, dude, I was so hungry too, and I'm normally, normally not like super hungry, but I was very hungry today, so it just so happened that this thing took <laughs> 35 minutes basically to make these. Almost 40. No, there's that. All right, so I would say this is a no-go. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'm going to eat these up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.